The title of this module is the SAC classification. The SAC classification was developed by the ITI to assist practitioners in determining whether they felt comfortable in being involved in implant treatments for particular cases. Late in 2006, a friend of mine, Stephen Chen, invited me to be a part of a project that the ITI was putting together to develop a objective SAC classification. Uh, this sort of led then to me being a team leader in the prosthodontic team uh, in the consensus conference that was held in Mallorca in 2007 and subsequently to me and uh, me being involved in assisting Stephen Chen in writing and editing the SAC book which was pa is part of the ITI library. The SAC classification was developed by the ITI to assist practitioners in developing a concept or an understanding of the degree of difficulty of implant treatment cases. This allows them to be decide whether they particularly want to become involved in the treatment or whether they wish to refer. Unfortunately, there seems to be an increase in the incidence of complications to implant therapy, and this may be related to people underestimating the degree of difficulty of treatment. At the end of you know, completing this module, you know, students should be able to recognise the purpose of the SAC classification, the determinants that go towards developing a classification, modifying factors that will then further reflect the degree of difficulty in the case, and also then be able to use uh, the online SAC tool to be able to determine the classification of a case that they have. Students will be able to assess a case of their own to determine whether it is a straightforward case, an advanced case, or a complex case. These classifications apply for both the surgical aspects of treatment and also for the restoration. With this classification in place, students should be able to recognise what types of treatment that they wish to become involved in personally and what parts of the treatment that they may wish to refer to other practitioners.